Welcome to DigiTalk. Let's present ourselves in a few words. What, uh, who am I? I'm an engineer and then, in American terms, an operator, which means working in corporate environments in different roles. And then Deputy Minister of Transport and Communication, Private Equity Fund, Team Manager, then Startup CEO and Venture Capital Partner. <laughs> this is what I do now also. I'm Venture Capital Partner at NEVEC. And I'll give the floor to Kamen. Hello there, my name is Kamen. I'm with the Fund of Funds in Bulgaria, um, which basically is a, is a pot of money, actually 600 million euros, um, which to its great part is geared towards financing of the local uh, startup and entrepreneurship ecosystem. Um, these are EU money, um, and uh, we try to support innovation and growth of the local startups by sponsoring and structuring private equity venture capital funds, which you will hear a lot more uh, about in, uh, in this discussion. So, um, Mevec has been around for, for quite, so, quite some time now. Yes. Um, we're kind of newcomer to the, to the, to the ecosystem. Um, could you share with us what's going on in the ecosystem up to now? Uh, we all know and we all see that it's quite vi vibrant and uh, a lot of things are going on. Uh, but could you, could you recollect what was the timeline, what was the history, how we came to this point? Okay, you mentioned history, so I will start with the history <laughs> because I'm a witness of this history as well. So uh, let's segment a little bit the audience who knows something about Mobifone, Orbital, or NetInfo? <laughs> <laughs> Quite a few. <laughs> yeah, it's in, the, in, it's in the history, but I consider them the first startups in Bulgaria, and these are the startups that are the basis of the development of this ecosystem, because you, today you will see many people coming from those companies that are around managing other companies, startups, or partners and venture capital funds like Nevec, LaunchHub, Eleven, etc. Uh, so what, ha what was, this was in 1994, Mobifone, then Orbitel, <laughs> then NetInfo. Uh, what happened next, 2005, 2006, a lot of call centers opening in Bulgaria, like Sofica, Callpoint and others. And then IT outsourcing also started here in Bulgaria, because Bulgarians at that time were not so brave to start their own comp technology companies with their own products. But later on, this also started, and 2006-2007, NEVEC established their first pri uh, venture capital fund with private investors, 80% private investors, and invested uh, all the money in great companies. And I want to mention some of them, like Viant, travel search company, now standing behind Lufthansa. Lufthansa was invested at that time in Viant as well, and then it was sold to an American uh, company, a listed American public company, and uh, I want to mention Fin Analytica, uh, producing their own software for risk management, for asset managers, currently part of FactSet group, you must know about FactSet, and we have another 3DC data center, again some of the founders come from Orbitel, it was sold to currently part of Equinix, one of the largest independent data center operators, and they have just opened a new data center in Bulgaria, the la one of the yeah, largest investments of Equinix in recent years. These, these are part of the investments made by Nevec One, the first Nevec. And then 2012 comes EIF, European Investment Fund, uh, that really supported the ecosystem to such an extent that today we see Sofia as uh, standing in the third place in Central and Eastern Europe by number of rounds, of financing rounds, as you have heard previously. So 2012, we had five new funds coming, two accelerators, 11 and Launch Hub, then Nevec, second generation, and also Empower and Black Peak Capital. And what we have today, we have new uh, second generation funds of Launch Hub, 11, uh, also uh, we have uh, new ventures, so we have private money coming in, 
But at the same time, we have institutional support, which we think is very important for, the, for our ecosystem. Uh, and hopefully this is also appreciated by, by our startup entrepreneurs, and they see that money is available on the market and uh, their ideas will be supported. So uh, uh, I'll now ask Kamen, uh, because now institutional money comes mostly from Fund the Fund, the Bulgarian uh, company Fund the Funds, to tell us more about uh, their mm. activities. Mm. Okay, so uh, from what we know, um, although as I said, the, the, the community is quite vibrant and a lot of things are going on, there is this financial gap that, is, that exists. According to the recent studies, uh, most people, most startups actually don't use inst institutional money, institutional financing from, from funds and el elsewhere. So uh, there is a clear opportunity for, for a development financiers such as ourselves to step in and to, to, to help, basically. So how we, how we are doing this? Um, can I start? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so this is us. This is the Bulgarian Fund of Funds, who is actually trying to to to, to manage uh, 600 million euros, as I said. Part of that money, to be precise, 150 closely, are geared towards private equity and venture capital. What we do is that. Um, we try to shape these funds, try to, to, to gear their investment strategy so that they would be able to, to, to support the ecosystem. Uh, what we do else, what is in the core of our, our business, is to select fund managers. We don't invest ourselves, we are wholesaler. Which means that um, we intervene on the market through intermediaries, such as Nevec, which is one of the, the oldest and most established players on this market. Um, I'll show you our product portfolio in that respect. So, this is our shop, basically, when it comes to private equity and venture capital. Um, so, we have a total of six funds. Uh, you see that the ranked, and they try to, what we try to do is to follow the typical path, the, the, the life cycle of a company. We, we try to provide support to, to the Volcan businesses, to SMEs in particular, throughout their life. From the, the very beginning, from the, the business idea, up to the moment when they want to expand and they want to, to, to go abroad and conquer the world, basically. So, um, what you see here, let's, okay, <laughs> these strange abbreviations, um, SAS, these are our early stages funds, which start from seed financing, the most challenging segment of the, of the VC universe, I would say. So, um, this one has already been contracted and will be on the market very soon. So, you'll be able to, to, to get financing from this our earliest fund. The second fund is, is supposed to, uh, to provide larger tickets and to, to, to boost the company through, um, in its attempt to position its, product, its products and services and to develop the, its products and services. Nevek is managing our third seed startup fund that uh, we'll hear more about their, their approach later on. I don't want to step in. Um, the VC fund uh, now provides expansion growth capital up to two, three million euros, which, has already, which is, is also contracted. We have um, assigned a, a fund manager for that one as well. And the METS Capital, METS Growth, uh, growth Fund, um, is halfway on the way to be contracted as well. And we hope that we'll be able to finish our selection procedure um, before the summer is out. This is a very interesting, 
don't know. Okay, this is a very interesting product. Uh, technology transfer fund. I won't give you a, a hell of a lot of details right now because it's a long story and I, I like to tell it, but it, I'll, I'll take like forever. But this fund is supposed to provide a bridge between science and business. This fund is supposed to, to, to help commercialization of scientific ideas. And if successful, will have a huge impact on the, on the local ecosystem as well. So, um, this is what we are doing now. As I said, we have selected NEVEC as one of our uh, fund managers for, for, for our third fund. And uh, um, I asked Guati, what would you intend to do with our money? Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, we are going to uh, to invest the money as we have done until now. I will uh, say a few words what he, what, how we have invested in 23 companies in our first and second fund. We have made six exits until now the, at a company exit value of 100 million euro. And we have exited those companies, as I mentioned already, to reputable uh, global companies that are ensuring their, their uh, development, their fast and uh, growth in future. So uh, what we are going to do, uh, you know that until now we were only talking such words like blockchain, fintech, artificial intelligence, machine learning, internet of things and sharing economy. But today we see that they are already a fact. So the, all those uh, technologies are existing and are developing fast and uh, need financial support. So we are continuing to support such technologies and uh, supporting such entrepreneurs. Uh, with a new fund, we will be able to invest in 45 new companies with a ticket of up to 1 million euro. So we will be happy to meet all entrepreneurs that work in these areas, but also in other innovative areas that are not just disruptive, they can be disruptive or not, but they are democratizing uh, various industries. So they are all interesting, and because we are a small market, we will not be limited only to those as, uh, IT sectors. So we will be happy to see also other interesting ideas and support other interesting ideas as usual. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so a, a lot of exciting stuff going on. And uh, to be honest, we can help you in many ways. And I'm, I'm reaching out now to startups, I'm reaching out to businesses, I'm reaching out to fund managers, and I'm reaching out to investors. Uh, we cannot cover everything like in five minutes. But um, we tried to create a unit in the fund of funds which can provide you with, this with all the information that you need. Uh, it's called coordination unit, it's relatively new, but please check out our, website, our corporate website, fmfit.bg, uh, and um, seek our colleagues, they'll provide you with all the information that you may need. Thank you very much.